G'day Harry, this is Braden from uh, Pacific Toyota. Just doing a quick little video tour on our 2021 uh, LDV T60, the Lux sitting here in front of me in manual uh, for only 33,990 driver weight, only a bit over 20,000 Ks on the clock. Uh, this thing is an absolute glamour, can't wait to take you through it. Uh, thanks again for your inquiry, I understand you are down south, that's no stress at all. Uh, we're incredibly lucky up here, we're actually the uh, second biggest pre-owned yard for Toyota in all of Australia. You can see our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there. Um, all our service departments down the road. Currently standing at uh, 235 Mongrave Road. And uh, as you can see, we are absolutely jam-packed here at the moment. We've got some absolutely awesome cars just like this LDV. So the uh, whole idea of this video, just want to take you through the whole car in a bit more detail. Um, any little marks I can find, all the service history, the whole work. So full service history in this one too. Uh, we obviously guarantee no write-offs, no flood damage, no hail damage or anything like that. As you can see, incredibly tidy across that roof. Uh, that 3399 is obviously drive away, so it is all your stamps, all your transfers, everything all included. Make, and I do know that it is one of one of the only manuals currently for sale on our car sales. So, mate, this thing is an absolute gem. It's just a little bit of dirt that's just come off with my finger. It's only, like I said, about 25,000 Ks on the clock right now. Very, very tidy across that bonnet. And through the uh, wheel arches. I did kick these wheels out so you can see yourself. Got brand new treads in there too. And with those mags as well, looking very tidy. Obviously, the genuine LDV alloys. Some suspension and everything through there, too. All your wishbones and everything looking very, very clean. And across the front here, too. Shadow out of the way so you can see yourself. A little tiny little greys right in the front there. And a little tiny one underneath. But otherwise, not too bad at all. It's just in the plastic. Same thing, just a little one just there. Just those little common ones that you always get across the front. Otherwise, very tidy on the actual alloy itself. And same thing, like I said, through there, looking very, very tidy. Still set side steps on these ones. The steps themselves, keyless entry uh, to let us in. So you can then lock the car, unlock it all from the doors as long as the keys are in, your, um, in front of the doors. Very tidy through here, I've got the uh, black and red stitching. Electric windows the whole way around. Very tidy through the inside here. There's door jams as well. Electric adjustments on both front seats, up and down. Backrest, the whole work. So you still got that red and black. Which looks absolutely awesome. There's no holes or anything like that across the dash. Little cup holders hidden away in there. All your books, manuals, the whole works are all in this one here as well. Uh, so it was a private owner. So first service down in Marucci, also down uh, your way. 16,000 Ks, 2022. And then Pacific Honda, that's us, that's our workshop. So uh, 2023, 25,000 Ks. So literally just been serviced. So awesome service history there. Very tidy through the actual uh, console itself. Same with all the roof lining, looking very tidy. Top. Now these windows are not tinted either, but that is stuff that we can do in-house. If that's something you want to look at, we can get it all done before it heads down. Uh, child locks on the, both these back rear doors as well. Still got the central locking uh, options the whole way around there too. Little power outlet in the back there as well. Little argument set right in the middle here. A little uh, strap just there. I'm just going to pull this seat up. You can actually hook it up onto that seat there as well. So if you want it up full time, you can do that too. Uh, jack and tool, all under that side. A bit of storage under this side. And as that just comes straight back down as well, into place. So we obviously been the luxury. We've got all these black uh, sports bars. We have the roll up uh, canopy there as well. So all lockable too. Fuel inlets just on the um, passenger side here as well. Looking very tidy on this wheel as well. Same thing, pretty much brand new tyres on these guys. Obviously haven't done such low kilometres. There's just a spare tyre back there as well. A couple of tiny little marks across the back here. Little chips and stuff, but nothing too bad. Just give you a bit of a look underneath. Tow bar obviously in the back as well. Nice little rear step. You've got parking sensors across the rear there too. Uh, there's also some T60 Max reverse camera tuck there as well. Tub lining the whole way through. Tie down points all through the back here as well. 
inside there. drop side as well. Now fortunately with this one before we keep going, so we've got two keys as well. Uh, central lock and see genuine LDV keys with both of these guys, so then that one works. And so does that one. So two working keys there, which is fantastic. So little key fob, so as long as they're um, within proximity of those doors, they'll be able to lock and unlock them. Pretty tidy through this side. Exhaust and everything through there as well. Here we window at the top. That one's bloody hard to find any sort of marks on this thing. Actually, really struggling. Through the inside here. And I've got the strap just up in the corner here. So we pull that with the finger. That'll come forward, lay flat. Gives you access to the um, child anchor points in the back there as well. Drop down handles, uh, the whole way around except the driver's side. Solid handles as well on the pillars. Makes it nice and easy to jump in and out. So keep the centering on both the uh, front doors as well. And no chips or anything like that through the windscreen either as well. A little tiny bit of fading just on the plastic just there, I've just noticed. Um, obviously master controls all through the driver's side, so mirror controls up there, left and right side. Just adjust that toggle as you need to. Uh, if you want to fold them in, you just simply turn it around and it'll tuck that uh, mirror in for you. A few releases just here on the uh, driver's side, so it's all locked nice and safe. Central locking, window locks and all the window controls. Uh, through the inside here. Not too bad at all. Tiny little bit of wear in the, um, in the carpet down the bottom there. I will pop that bonnet because I do want to show you under there too. And of course the electric adjustment just here as well. So being with this is a manual, you do have a safety system in here, so you've got to have your foot on the clutch uh, to be able to start this one up. So foot on the clutch, push this one in. Close that up, get some aircon going. Straighten this up so we can see. Okay, so 25,826 kilometers, no um, engine lights and dash lights or anything like that either. Uh, very, very tidy. I'm going to do for another service to 40,000 uh, kilometers at the top there. We've got automatic dimming mirrors up the top here. Bit of sunny holders. All the mirrors and everything through there as well. Uh, very, very tight. Like I said, they've got the solid and the drop down handles, just obviously not on the driver's side because you bump your head. But very, very clean through the actual inside here. Uh, six speed transmission with this one. So obviously, reverse wire in the corner gives us this little reverse camera. So you've got the ones in the back and you've got 360 cameras around the outside. So there's a camera tucked in the front and then cameras tucked under either one of the, uh, the mirrors on the outside there. And it stitches it together to give you that 360 view. So parallel parking and everything, that's why the, the, the wheels on this is so well looked after because basically makes everything, um, yeah, you never should uh, come anywhere close to it because it lets you see that full 360 view. Your home button here is going to bring you to this screen every single time so you can jump straight into the Bluetooth side of things, straight into the aircon uh, controls, so your climate control and everything like that. Um, Apple CarPlay and everything else through the middle there. So you connect your phone up, you basically load the maps and everything off your phone uh, and on, project them onto the screen all the radio and everything through that side there too. Uh, all your personalization settings, the whole works, all your little car things, uh, depending how you like the car set up. Phone calls, the whole works, is all uh, usable through these little um, submenus down the bottom there too. Aircon controls are down the bottom here as well, so fan speed over there, where you want them coming out of, and temperature on the right hand side. A couple USB ports for charging your phone and that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Full drive controls are over here, so you don't have to get locking in hubs or anything like that. Uh, you've got downhill descent, traction control, uh, DPF burn, all your, um, your eco modes, power modes, and of course your lane departure there as well. So all nice and uh, usable from the driver's side here too. Now uh, with real handbrake, this is the best thing for full drives. Cup holders in the middle there, just a little console here for you too, with a bit of storage on the inside there too. Um, steering wheel itself, cruise controls all on the left hand side, volume and everything else is on the right. Headlights on the right hand side with some automatic settings there, and your wipers are all up on the left, so nice and easy there too. Um, that is pretty much everything through the inside here. I did pop that bonnet, so I just want to give you a quick little look under there as well. A little turbo diesel motor. So all up on struts, makes life real nice and easy. 2.8 turbo diesel motor here. The back is there. Plenty of room to work and get access to everything uh, yourself. All the floors and everything on the back there as well. Beautiful, very tidy well looked after motor. So thank you again 
uh, if you're in a quarry. And um, yeah, can't wait to hear feedback soon.